the last 15 years, I've shot over 500 music videos. And today, I'm gonna to show you what I've learned from all the endless mistakes. Here are my top three tips to level up your videos. And one of them is as easy as saying no. Music videos is where it all started for us. I remember getting the bus into town when I was like 16 and shooting four or five music videos in one day on my iPhone. And thinking back to that now, it's like people used to pay me to do that. You know, we've, we've built an entire business off shooting low budget music videos. You can kind of say we've started from the bottom. And I think these tips are gonna be really beneficial because I guess we've learned the hard way and it's not always about lighting or composition or making something look really cinematic. These tips are practical tips, something which you can take away and use on your next music video. Tip number one. Don't overuse the gimbal. Nowadays, everybody's using a gimbal for like every single shot when it's not needed. What makes a good music video is using a wide variety of different types of shots, different types of movement. So whether this is handheld, tripod, try and throw in a mixture of different stuff. I'm not saying don't use the gimbal altogether because it is needed for the certain type of shot, like if you're following somebody or if you're tracking an object or something like that. And it's also needed for like the performance shot as well, like if you want to get some nice smooth motion. But I think using the same movement throughout will become repetitive. What we like to do is shoot a lot of handheld stuff and then throw in a tripod shot. This tends to break up the edit and sort of like make the video more engaging. Tip number two, allow more time than needed. From past experiences, there's nothing worse than being rushed off your feet. It's stressful, you're unrelaxed. On shoot days, mistakes can be made and allowing yourself more time gives you more time to correct them. People can be late, it can start raining which means you have to wait half an hour until it stops. Actors might need more time on hair and makeup, the artist might not like the way they look so you need to readjust lighting. These are things which you can't really plan for so allowing more time in your schedule will only make things less stressful and give you more time to get the shots you need. And finally, tip number three, say no. Shooting music videos is all about managing expectations and sometimes it's okay to say no. I tend to get a music artist that I want to shoot at night time a lot, which is absolutely fine, but it requires a lot of time and a lot of lighting. So sometimes we have to literally tell them no, it's not possible unless we compromise to take time away from other scenes and add time onto this scene. Another option we could be shooting at dusk. So instead of letting it go pitch black, shoot just before. This allows you to use less lighting. It actually makes the shots look better as well. Just before the video ends, I had one last tip. From working with different people over the years, the one thing that I always see that helps contribute to a successful music video is having good times on set. Whether this is playing music whilst you're setting up, talking to the artist, making them feel comfortable. And the more comfortable they feel, the better they'll perform on camera. I know you're there to work, but at the end of the day, you're also there to have fun and enjoy what you do. So yeah, that's it from me. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more BTS stuff or keep up to date with all the stuff we've been shooting recently, follow us on Instagram, which I'll put in the description below. Let me know if you guys have any tips yourself. You can just comment them below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.